We're going to do this integral with a u substitution. It should also be possible with a trigonometric substitution, but we're going to use a u substitution on this one. And this is a classic case where I, I feel like u substitution is, is just mandatory. You need, you need to do it formally instead of just trying to see the chain roll backwards. And the trick is always to let u equal the interior of the square root, and that cleans up this, this problematic square root. So I'll try to give myself some room because I think this gets ugly. So let u equal x squared plus 1. That means du is 2x dx. And so I have an x I could pull out of this x cubed, and I could build that differential quantity using that. Uh, and I'm left with a leftover x squared in here when I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just prepare for this. I'm going to need to solve for x squared in terms of u. And then we'll start playing with the integral. So I have an x squared square root. I'll just leave it in kind of a hybrid form for a minute. Um, and I need a 2x dx. So I'm just going to go ahead and I took one of my x's out of the x cubed. And I put a 2 in there, so I better multiply by 1 half out in front. I've still got to get this thing fully transformed in terms of u. So I have 1 half x squared. I just found out is just u minus 1. And then I have a square root u, and then a 2x dx, that's just du. So I have what's looking like a lot nicer integral now. So what I'm going to do to integrate this is distribute the square root of u. That's u to the 1 half. And then I'll use the power rule on each of the terms that are left over. So this first one gives me u to the 3 halves. Second one, u to the 1 half. And then I can go ahead and guess the antiderivatives. This will give me u to the 5 halves times 2 fifths. Second term gives me u to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves, which is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. And there will be a plus c there, but I'm not going to bother until I state my final answer. Um, I could divide a 2 out of the interior and then cancel it with the 2 in the denominator out in front. So I end up with 1 fifth u to the 5 halves minus 1 third u to the 3 halves. And finally, I'm not done until I replace u with its definition in terms of x. So I get 1 fifth x squared plus 1 to the 5 halves minus 1 third quantity x squared plus 1 to the 3 halves, and then to be totally correct, plus c.